Today I'm going to show you what to do when you run out of thread mid saddle stitch. Hey guys, what's up? Has this ever happened to you? You're stitching up your latest creation and it's looking great and you're midway through stitching and then you realize you're not going to be able to finish with the amount of thread you've cut. Admittedly, this happens a lot more to newer leather crafters than it does to experienced ones and this is just because with experience you learn how to prevent this. But when this does happen, it's enough to make you wanna lose your mind, throw it across the room, flip the table, you know, the usual rage quit stuff. Just to quickly interrupt, this video was one that was requested by two people who actually reached out to me. If there is any tip or advice that you guys want to see me do a video on, then just drop it down below in the comments. I read all the comments and I will toss it on the list. All right, so how do we fix this thread issue? Well. The easiest way is to learn how to prevent it in the first place. Preventing it's pretty simple. You use enough thread. When you go to stitch something up, what you wanna do is just measure four times the distance that you're going to be stitching. So if you were doing this wallet, for instance, you would need to do four times this entire line to make it enough thread. And then if you were doing a T-slot or something inside, then you would just go four times the one line. You just wanna do four times the distance that you will be stitching. And this should stop you from ever running into this situation. If what you're sewing up is really thick, go five times the whole distance that you're stitching. You just wanna err on the side of caution. I would much rather throw out a little bit of thread when I'm done than run out midway. Even if you're using something expensive like Tiger Thread, which is about $40 for a 500 meter spool, that means each meter costs about eight cents. And for my American friends, a meter is like three feet long. It's a lot of thread, eight cents or 10, 12 cents Canadian. The spool is expensive, but it's 500 meters. That's a lot of thread on there. Just, it's okay to toss some out. You can afford it. And you don't even always have to toss it out. Some of those leftovers are long enough to do smaller projects. I reuse a lot of the ones that I cut off of something else. But let's say for whatever reason you're in this situation, you either underestimated how much you needed because something was super thick or you got distracted while you were measuring it out and you missed a side or something. There is one really good method that I found to fix this issue. I found this image in one of Al Stolman's books. I can't really remember which one, but go ahead and screenshot this now. Or if you want, I will put a link to my website in the description and I'll host this image on it where you can uh, download it from there. This method works beautifully. I've run into this situation a couple times now and it has saved my ass every time. It's really simple, so let's just do a walkthrough of it now. So let's say you've stitched up to here and you can see that you're not gonna have enough to finish. Don't cut the thread. What you need to do is take the thread and just loosely knot it over top. Now either remove your needles or just grab two more and thread them up, just like you're starting a new saddle stitch. You're gonna start right where you left off where you loop them up over top here and finish the line just the same as you normally would. Once this is done, you'll have that line all stitched up and it'll look like this. Snip the end strings off just like you normally would and melt them down. Now you're gonna go back to where you messed up and you're gonna snip those ones off. Melt them down. I like to kind of use my scratch all to kind of poke it inside and hide the mistake. And I find for this that using the thread zap is a lot easier than using a lighter as well. Once it's done, it almost looks perfect. It's one of those things that it would probably take 
a leather worker to notice the mistake at all. But even then, I just feel like they would overlook it. Even looking closely at this, it's pretty hard to see. And after you hammer down those stitches, it pretty much turns invisible. Anyway, keep this in your back pocket just in case this ever happens to you. I promise you that you'll be really happy that you watch this video the next time you cut your thread a little bit too short. Thanks for watching guys. Feel free to watch another one of my videos. And if you know anybody that would benefit from this tip, by all means, share it with them. I'm trying to help the new leather workers out there. I think this one's valuable, but thanks again, guys. I will see you in the next video.